Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Those who clicked the video, you know that it's about pneumonia. Uh, this disease has been discussed under the chapter Exchanges of Gas, and previously I explained human respiratory system in a very primal level. Uh, what are the, uh, the organs and how it happens. So simply I explained the respiratory system and then uh, the following tutorials would be about lung disease like tuberculosis, lung cancer, asthma and this video about pneumonia. What is pneumonia? We know that it's about lung disease and it caused the streptococcus pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia. So it can be viral, it can be bacterial pneumonia or even fungal. So depending on the causing agent, it might be uh, differentiated as either is it viral pneumonia or bacterial pneumonia. Those, I mean, it, it's very common in case of infants, those who are less than two years and the old age, which is more than 65 years. I know there are a lot of things I have written in the board, but shortly we know that those infants are actually less than two years, the kids, they're more in, in a risk risk age and those people are might have a more probability to get infected by pneumonia. So and people of 60 more than 65 years of age in a risk group. So what are the causing agent? Number one, this is we know that is pneumococci, but this is streptococcus pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia. So and this can be viral pneumonia and bacterial pneumonia or even fungal pneumonia. So what are the symptoms? Mostly the common symptoms are the chest pain. Chest pain in case of kids it might not be symptomatic always but uh, it should be uh, driven to the hospital as long as possible because you know the chest pain when you breathe it can be felt by the oldest people but for the kids sometimes it not I mean, felt from the outside. Cough that produces phlegm or mucus. Cough will be there. Fatigue and loss of appetite. Loss of appetite means someone is not feeling good to have food. So fatigue and loss of appetite. Fever, sweating and chills. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. This can be the common symptom also for pneumonia. Shortness of breath. So if you see the symptoms of pneumonia, you have the chest pain. So chest pain will be felt when someone will take the breath and simply the shortness of breath and cough can be produced with phlegm or mucus with phlegm. Fatigue and loss of appetite would be a very a prominent symptoms in case of pneumonia because people don't have feel to good in case of taking food. Fever, sweating and chills would be another, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Uh, so these are the symptoms of a pneumonia. Think about what are the complications? That complications can be if it is a bacterial pneumonia, that bacteria can spread through the whole body, and this condition is known as bacteremia. So, the bacteremia means the bacterial presence in the blood. The travel breathing, which is simple, simply understandable that in case of uh, the pneumonia, in longer versions complications, travel breathing would be another thing. Fluid buildup and lung abscess is the is a complication of pneumonia. Now you think that what would be the, the first task when someone feel like that? Definitely, directly go to for the physical, physician's advice or directly go to the hospital. I mean, when the physician will have a patient, then definitely look for some test, like blood test and some chest x-ray and some other things, depending on the medical history of the patient, even smoking history and some other history. So definitely a physician will take decision what should be the test done for that patient to, to identify the, the, the cause of pneumonia. Either it can be viral, either it can be bacterial. But mostly hot and liquid nutritious diet is the common remedy for the pneumonia. Like those who are having the, ch uh, the chest pain in case of breathing should have hot and liquid nutritious diet every day and then drinking plenty of water. If it is bacterial pneumonia then doctor may prescribe 
uh, antibiotics. But if it is viral pneumonia, then antibiotics won't work. On that case, uh, the, the normal and very commonly used uh, medications will be used for fever. So in case of bacterial pneumonia, antibiotic may be prescribed, but in viral pneumonia, there should be some different management. So that is completely will be de uh, decided by the physicians and the background of the, of the patients, the medical history of the patients. So this is simply the remedy. I just wrote the three lines that number one, the physician's advice. Number two, hot and liquid nutritious diet every day. And definitely, definitely drinking plenty of water. That is uh, another well-known remedy of pneumonia. What can be the preventions? The preventions are, number one, please be careful for the kids and the oldest people of your family. Really, really important. And, and definitely, and definitely, if, if uh, I mean possible, I mean, depending on their socioeconomic status, the house or the living place where we are living, it should be well ventilated. Well ventilated house. The remedy and, and the preventions and in case of patients keep patients in the tolerable temperature and dry environment it should not be cold it should be a normal temperature so definitely it's it's the cause of the pneumonia can be the common cold but uh, even uh, uh, even some sort of like lung disease after bronchitis and measles so the patient should be kept in the tolerable temperature mostly dry environment and as it is lung disease as it is discussed under the respiratory system one thing is always common that is avoid smoking so smoking should be avoided otherwise uh, it will be tough i mean each and every time when i explain about the disease and the the remedy and the prevention of the disease these things is always common avoid smoking avoid alcohol it's always uh, depends on your willpower. I mean, when a person is smoking, then the chances of lung disease like pneumonia, lung cancer, bronchitis, tuberculosis is definitely more prominent. So, depends on willpower. So, people may have that willpower to avoid smoking, which is the best part of living healthy lifestyle. So if we just think about it, what is about pneumonia? We started that pneumonia, the causing agent is about streptococcus pneumonia. You should remember there is a scientific name of it, streptococcus pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia. Number two that we need to think about symptoms. What are the symptoms? These are the symptoms. Write it down. If you cannot memorize, just think it's a lung disease and all the disease in this chapter that has explained has some sort of similarities but mainly these two should be there and then the complications bacteria can spread out in the blood that is called bacteremia trouble breathing will be there fluid buildup and lung abscess it is the complications in longer aspect then what are the remedies as long as you can see the symptoms in kids and old age people and wherever in the age group directly should consult with the physicians or directly go to the hospital. The physician will decide uh, either is it, is it is bacterial pneumonia or viral pneumonia depending on the test. And then the nutritious and hot diet would be prescribed. Drinking plenty of water should be the advice. And in case of prevention, we must consider the patient should kept in a well-ventilated house. It's not a cold place. It should be dry and warm place. Definitely number one is a balanced diet and good diet, healthy lifestyle. Number two is well-ventilated house. And number four is not, at least is avoid smoking. So that will definitely be working as a prevention of uh, pneumonia. So in short, I explain what is written on the board, check it out. And uh, if something, you know, questions like pneumonia about it, just write it down in a point captions so that the gist part of your knowledge can be expressed in your exam paper. So thank you so very much. I'm coming up with uh, asthma and tuberculosis in the next videos. Take care.